discussing Satanism and the occult this morning and some of the dangers that are lurking about. And with me in the studio is the Dark Lord Blood, who is a seventh generation satanic worshiper. I mean, are all your friends Satanists? No, or I don't have any friends, but my acquaintances are, yeah. Uh -huh. For the purposes of this study, we will focus on the number 666 and its use in the Universal Product Code. Most people don't realize that 80% of all toys on the market have occultic influence, and these are the most popular. It says here that uh, it actually makes the wings move, so let me uh, look at that. Isn't that amazing? And do you remember those uh, verses in the book of Revelation about the flying beast with the riders on them? This could actually be taken from uh, Revelation. Sure, it looks like it. Uh, I dealt with a boy, to abbreviate it, who wanted to kill me. Uh, the name that, of the demon that was inside the young man was named Azrael. I later found out that Azrael was Lucifer's personal death angel. Not only that, but I also found out that that was the same name as the cat on the Smurfs. And what is his primary objective? Is to catch little Smurfs and kill them for Gargamel. And, and, and this kind of knife is being sold for that reason. There is something called an empty. But it's empty. also being sold for healthy reasons. Man, what's healthy about selling a knife to this is this? Vicky. Snake Mountain. It's got an interesting little feature here. I'm going to turn it on. It can actually transform your voice from uh, your regular voice to that of an occultic hero. Is that yeah. correct? So let's get a Skeletor type of voice. <laughs> Let me turn this on here. I, I think I'm getting it too loud. Skeletor, the master of the universe. 